Looking good? Got it. You're now ready? I'm ready. I'm Catherine B. And I'm Christian Bryant. Going to the state fair is a quintessential summer pastime. It's basically America at its finest. That's arguable. Standing in long lines for rides in the sticky heat. While eating something deep fried and on a stick. But this year, a few state fairs up their game when it came to food options. Like the state fair of Texas. Which is offering lobster to all who want it. But instead of looking freshly cooked like this, it's fried. Specifically, chicken fried. This dish, which won the fair's 2015 Big Tex Choice Awards, is served with champagne gravy. I don't think champagne gravy makes something chicken fried lobster better. Who wants this? I'm just saying. You're taking you're lobster, you're taking lobster, which is like top-notch seafood dish, and you're giving it the Long John Silver uh, treatment. Nah, 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 nobody wants that. Okay. Now, if they were serving just regular lobster on a stick, that'd be cool. Yeah. I'd be down for that but then it'd be a little questionable. Mm, still a little questionable. Everything on a stick is questionable, actually. <laughs> Next is prime rib. <laughs> Which is being served at the Minnesota State Fair. The dish is called prime rib to go. And features thin slices of prime rib inside a bread cone, along with sauteed peppers, onions, and mushrooms. I like how we basically sort of like deep fried prime rib without deep frying it. Yeah, you just yeah. put it in bread. Put it in, put it in a bread cone, why not? What is a bread cone? I've never even, I've never even seen one It literally is like a cone made of bread. Is it like, like, a, why? like an you ice cream cone? Is it that. almost like an ice cream cone? Is that what it looks like? Kind of like a big version of an right. ice cream cone. This is the one I'd be most likely to go after already, without a doubt. Prime rib and a cone. <laughs> Prime rib Let's and try bread. That. That's weird, but I would try that. And finally, everyone needs dessert, right? The Orange County Fair might have just the thing. This year, one of the food vendors, Chicken Charlie's, celebrated the 125th anniversary of the fair in a big way. Really big. <laughs> it took a state fair classic. The deep fried Twinkie. And topped it with caviar. <laughs> Christian's not about it. Yeah, fish eggs. On a Twinkie. Even though the price was steep at $125. All proceeds were donated to the Children's Hospital in Orange County. I'm glad they tacked that on because $125 for a <laughs> Twinkie and some fish eggs ain't gonna cut it. Ain't gonna cut it. But it's like deep fried. I'm like, you're not making the deep fried better by just putting caviar on it. I don't know. I mean, have you tried it? <laughs> just gonna tell you, deep fried Twinkies are not my thing right Send now. Send us some samples, guys. I mean, this is like, we, we're always this asking for this. This is our thing. <laughs> Go ahead and send us some samples. Why not? And then maybe I won't rail so hard against these things. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Ah, oh, we're back together again. Back together. And then you hear the angels singing Ebony and Ivory, obviously. Ha! <laughs> obviously.